and welcome. It's great to speak with you again. Recently, a church-wide communication told about World Conference dates being set for May 30th through June 6, 2025. With that came a letter announcing that I will retire as Prophet President at the 2025 World Conference. As stated, I believe my decision to retire is best for me and my family, and I'm really looking forward to it. Equally important to me is creating opportunities for younger world church leaders to emerge, which is vital to the church's future. The call to serve as prophet president has been a joyful and challenging adventure leading to many meaningful relationships and experiences around the world. I'll share more about this in the future and will continue to fulfill my responsibilities as president until I retire. In my letter, I stated that the process of calling a successor will include a time of mutual discernment with the worldwide church. Everyone, regardless of age or location, is invited to participate as individuals or groups. Discernment is the practice of listening, individually and together, for the movement and invitation of the Holy Spirit as we discover God's will for the world, the church, and us. Discernment does not happen all at once. It's a continual practice over time. In general, our discernment process will occur in four phases. Phase one, March 2023, announcing my retirement, which will occur at the 2025 World Conference. Phase two, March through November 2023, sharing discernment steps and guiding questions with the church each month with opportunities to offer feedback to the First Presidency. This will include a discernment activity during the 2023 World Conference. Phase three, December 2023 through February 2024, prayerfully holding and reflecting in the First Presidency on all feedback. As Prophet President, I'll name the person called through a letter of counsel to be considered at the 2025 World Conference. The person called will be the President Designate and will be associated with the current First Presidency in its work until the 2025 World Conference. Phase four, May 30th through June 6, 2025. Considering, approving, and ordaining the next prophet president at the 2025 World Conference. With that timeline in mind, I'd like to say a bit more about the discernment process. The discernment rhythm will involve a pray step one month, starting this month, followed by a share step the next month. Each pray and share step from March through December 2023 will focus on a guiding question. Each share step will bring an opportunity to provide emerging reflections, insights, and questions with the First Presidency. Several times during the process, the First Presidency will summarize feedback from the church. Now, to give you a better sense of what we will be doing, here is a preview of questions that will guide our prayers and responses. God, where is your spirit leading us next as a worldwide church? 
What are the most significant situations, opportunities, or challenges that a prophetic leader will need to address? What is God's call for the worldwide church in this time? What kind of leadership is needed to respond to God's call for the worldwide church now and into the future? At this time, are there any names emerging that you would like to share? What words of blessing and hope do you share for the worldwide church in this important time of discernment? Through discernment, first we seek to lay aside any preconceived ideas, assumptions, or personal agendas by praying for spiritual freedom so we can be as open and responsive as possible to God's guidance. We also pray for open minds and hearts to hear the perspectives, hopes, and concerns of others as part of our discernment journey. As emphasized in my letter, this discernment process will help us grow as a prophetic people. Clarifying vision about where God is leading the church and considering what type of leadership is needed now and into the future. Watch for more detailed information regarding the discernment process on the website, social media, and in the Herald. I'm confident the Holy Spirit will bless us as we walk together in prayer, reflection, and sharing.